Can you give us your uh, name, title and company, please? Uh, I'm uh, Paul Argent. I uh, work for Aeroflex and um, I'm actually uh, Director of Infrastructure Products um, for uh, WiMAX and for our um, Node B and uh, GSM and WCDMA base stations as well. And uh, what is this uh, instrument for? Um, well, we have our two product lines for, um, for WiMAX. We have a, um, a certification product, which is the system we have here. Um, it's uh, designed for uh, mobile WiMAX 16E. Uh, the system is uh, part developed with Aeroflex and AT4. Um, and uh, the system is designed for certification testing of both uh, WiMAX uh, terminals and WiMAX base stations. Great, thank you. Um, what technology standards does it test against? Uh, so we test against the um, IEEE uh, 802.16e. Um, this is the WiMAX standard for mobility. And uh, this is the new technology that's uh, being rolled out really to offer wireless broadband um, in place of uh, your standard uh, broadband connection over uh, a line. What's its use in the market? So its use in the market is um, will initially be for development. So um, anyone developing a, a mobile device or a, a base station device for, for WiMAX would initially use it as a development tool. Um, the product can then be enhanced as a, as a pre-validation tool um, using uh, so you can run the test cases and finally um, the system is used by the certification labs for uh, certification testing of uh, WiMAX. And why is it timely now? Well really we're seeing a, a, a huge interest in WiMAX technology. Um, the, uh, the WiMAX forum that really manage the release of, of WiMAX, uh, they're, um, they're, they're moving now into a phase where certification will start for WiMAX devices and really this is to push uh, mobile broadband um, and allow, I guess, the, the consumers um, access to high data rates um, using, using WiMAX uh, as an alternative to, uh, to 3G or WCDMA technology. And what are the speed of these um, new systems? Um, well, it's expected that uh, WiMAX will deliver around um, 15 meg uh, connection to a, a mobile device. That's quite impressive, isn't it? Um, what areas are they seeing most demand for? Um, really, um, we're seeing most demand uh, initially for base stations. So we see the rollout of base stations um, focusing on some, some key operators that will be later this year. And um, base stations always come first, and then, and then we see the mobile terminals. Um, but really, it's the, uh, it's the tier one and, and uh, tier two base station and mobile device vendors that, are, um, that we're working with at the moment. To, um, to support them in uh, getting their products certified. Um, think about this in about 10 years' time. How is it going to change? Or what kind of dream development are you hoping for? Um, well, with, with WiMAX, um, we, um, we, well, we, we certainly want to be the leaders in WiMAX. Um, and, and at this time, we're, um, we're leading the, um, the, the chase for certification or to support the certification um, <laughs> process. People sometimes say that, say, the Chinese um, take a, a piece of an engineering technology from the, uh, the West and they duplicate it, they change something and they copy it quite quickly. Are they your main um, worry in, in future developments? Um, or no, not, not, no, not at all. Um, WiMAX really look, looks to be set to uh, be adopted by, um, by pretty much the world. So we'll see um, operators from you know, North America, Europe and, and Asia. Uh, I think in particular the, the, the big operator that's pushing WiMAX at the current time is um, SK Telecom. Um, and uh, they, they've been very aggressive with the roll, rollout of Wibro. So this is really the, the, the start of, um, of, of WiMAX. Um, Europe, Europe and the US will, will see, well, I'm sure we'll see over the coming months, um, operators step forward and we'll, we'll see potentially the big operators looking at WiMAX. Um, but also maybe some small operators um, who can offer uh, an alternative to uh, broadband over, over a cable. Paul, just tell me more about this, um, this latest technology. What oh, well, this, this is the second product that we're promoting here at uh, 3GSM. 
This is our um, test mobile for LTE. So LTE is you know, emerge, the, the new emerging technology for uh, long-term evolution. Uh, and again, offering high data rates at, at, uh, to support mobile broadband. Um, L LTE really comes now at, at a time where um, the push for mobile broadband is for high data rates and um, L LTE um, moves away from WCDMA technology uh, to um, introduce um, you know, high, high data rates for, again, um, commercial use uh, for accessing internet and high data services over a, a mobile device.